up guys, PJ Truck and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, thanks for clicking on it, if you've been following, appreciate all the support. So all the time you guys comment, how do you keep your polished wheels clean or how do you maintain them? So today, we're gonna show you how to restore and maintain your polished forged wheels. For the last few weeks, I've been absolutely neglecting my wheels so you guys can get a good before and after. Dude, check them out, check them out real quick. So dude, they're completely yellow. They really need to be polished. This one's got some curb rash. We're gonna show you guys how to sand it down. You guys know I run two inch spacers in the front, which allows you to roll on your stocks, even with a seven to nine inch lift. PJ, Joe, why? 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 No, we're asking PJ trucking why. Oh, dude, you want to know, bro? I think it's because you hit your knuckle, no? Yeah, you hit the tie rod. Like we're throwing on the 20 inch LTZs. It looks sick. I think we're just gonna try to sell PJ's wheels after they get polished. We're gonna put 26 reps. Oh, you, you guys, should we do the split sevens, <laughs> the high country LTZ. stocks? Like, like which one should we get? Dude, we're going stocks and spikes reps. right now, dude. 26, 26 inch reps. Dude, that's should, we your stock Bubba? should we go Bubba on it? Oh, dude, Bubba. Some bobbers on the stocks. We got the 14 wides. The Furies overall, absolutely chopped. And then we're throwing on the stocks, dude, with spikes. I bet you'll chop the stocks too. Let's we'll see if I chop the stocks. It'll be a good test. I bet. We just got here to twice as nice polishing. We're gonna show you how to really get these wheels redone when they're really bad. We're gonna show you how to really get these wheels taken care of, and then we're gonna show you how to take care of them after. What's going on, guys? It's Quinn from Twice as Nice Polishing. Uh, today we're gonna be doing PJ's wheels. We're gonna acid wash them first, and then we're gonna go ahead and take them back, put them on the jig, and polish them. So to keep these maintained, you wanna really just wash them. <clears throat> use regular soap, don't use any special wheel cleaners. You only use that on like a clear coat of polished wheels. Um, a lot of that will damage, it has acid in it. Basically to keep up with maintenance is just all about keeping them clean. The brake dust is what eats them, puts pits in them, makes them yellow. Uh, you can use power stop pads, those definitely help. They do put less brake dust, whatnot. Um, all right, so to acid wash these wheels, you can pick up some aluminum brightener. From Pick this stuff up in Napa, it's aluminum brightener. You wanna use about 20 to 30% um, if you're polishing your wheels. You wanna make sure you don't use this stuff just to wash it or anything. Once you do this, it's gonna turn the wheel white and it'll, it'll, it's gonna damage the finish. This is only if you're polishing it out afterwards. Um, and this just cleans up all the brake dust, all that stuff that won't come off. So you want to spray it down, get a nice even coat on all of it. And basically what he's really doing now is breaking down the grime and the brake dust. So you want to make sure that when you do this, you're you're washing it or you're getting this acid on there nice and even. You want to make sure it's all white and foaming. Um, sometimes it doesn't take the acid. Certain parts, you just got to go back over it with some extra acid. Uh, you want to make sure though that's even because it'll leave marks where you didn't get the acid. The acid didn't eat into the aluminum. All right, so next step, you're just going to want to wipe it down real quick with a rag. <clears throat> get all that brake dust and whatnot agitated. You can see it came right off the wheels nice and clean. Get in between all the spokes just real quick. You're supposed to be wearing a glove. I'm out running late <laughs> for the truck meet. <laughs> if you were to do this without polishing the wheels, what would happen? Do without polishing the wheels, if you yeah. were to acid wash yeah. it, it would just leave it. Stained? Not stained, it'll look like just dull white. Oh, okay. You'll okay. see once I wash this acid off, you want to work quickly too because you don't want this stuff sitting on there too long. All right, so if there's not a spot that uh, you're going to be polishing back, like the backside or whatever, just blow it off or dry it off real quick. Because if, if you let it dry or sit there and puddle, there might be a little bit of acid. It might have a little stain to it. So you want to blow it off or wipe it down with microfiber, dry it off. So now we got it up on the jig. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our buffer. Um, this is a 6K grinder. This is a regular Makita grinder. You can use a regular um, DeWall or Makita variable buffer. We got our airway pad centerless with our flange on it. <clears throat> we're gonna use a heavy cut compound. You can get away with doing a medium, but his are rough, like I said. So we're gonna start with a heavy and then just run to a final.
<laughs> all right, now that we got the barrel cut, we got all deep scratches out of the face as much as we can get out. We're not sanding this wheel really needs to be sanded. What we're gonna do now is take some mineral spirits, regular mineral spirits. You're gonna put it on a rag and you're gonna go and wipe all that extra compound down. You don't wanna cross compounds between the two. So you wanna make sure you get all that compound off, off of there. And then we're gonna go and move on to a medium buff um, with a medium cutting compound. All right, so now I'm gonna switch over to a variable. I'm, only, I'm gonna run this at 3,500 RPMs, medium cut uh, airway, and then I'm gonna do the medium cut compound. We're gonna do that on the spokes. It's easier not to run a 6K on the spokes. Next step, you're gonna get your liquid polish. I use white diamond. You can use Time to Shine or any of those uh, liquid polishes they work. I mean, I prefer white diamond, goes farther. I mean, I think it's the most cost effective, has a nice cut to it. Just gonna shake the bottle really well, grab a little bit of that. <clears throat> Anywhere you can't get with the buffer, you're gonna go ahead and just sit there and scrub it, rub it back and forth. Put some good pressure on it, keep going back and forth. And then we're not doing in between the spokes today, but normally right now, that's why you only use 20%, 30% acid when you wash these, because if you go ahead and hit in between the spokes with this polish, it'll be easy. You could do it by hand rather than doing it with a Dremel. Um, but this will clean it right up there. Let's see, we'll wipe it off. All right, now that we did the medium cut, we're gonna grab some mineral spirits, try not to spill it like I just did. We're gonna go ahead and decontaminate the whole thing again. Get all that polish off there. You don't want that mixing in with your final cut. All right, now we're gonna switch to a Dome flannel. We're gonna run this about 1800 RPMs on the face <clears throat> and we're going to use a final finish compound on this and we're going to also rake this too so you want to put your rake on the floor get all that excess compound out of it so it's nice and soft when you start guys so that's it we finished up the finished polish on it um this is more just of a quick cut just to get something to shine on there for the floor truck meet um i offer a lot more steps to a polish than this um we were just trying to show you something quick you could do to take care of your wheels get them to shine again all right if you guys are looking for a quote um you can dm me on instagram tan underscore polishing or you can text me some pictures at 954-446-5226 a very important part in keeping your wheels clean is definitely making sure you're keeping up with the maintenance of your rotors and your pads. When the pads clash against the rotors, it tends to leave a little break dust. There's one major thing we like to do on these trucks, which is put power stop rotors and power stop pads. They were only going to be installing the pads. This is not how you want your rotors to be, and this is definitely not what you want your pads to look like. We just got back to the shop. We're finally gonna throw the wheels back on the truck, polish, show you guys how it looks. guys i hope you guys appreciate the video i really want to start doing more content like this where i can start getting you guys like like content where you guys can learn like teach the viewer kind of content you know like i learned a lot in this video but i hope you guys learned a lot in this video it's extremely important to keep up on your maintenance and make sure when you wash these wheels you use ph balanced soap if not 
you might end up in the same yellow side of the wheel finish or whatever you might end up with yellow finished wheels again so make sure to keep up on your polish keep up on your maintenance make sure to use power stop brake pads appreciate you guys for watching peter trucking